Ted Jones. I suggest you talk. This will be a lot easier if you talk. What will happen if I don't? Well, if you don't, it would be much more fun. But we aren't here to have fun, are we? We may have some fun yet, Detective. Let's start with an easy one. The three people. Why'd you do it? Isn't it obvious? Should it be? Yes, it should. They were bad people. And bad people deserve to die. That woman had an affair. And you bludgeoned her to death with a nine iron. Well, when you take too long to do your job, other people will do it for you. So, how does killing someone make you any better than those you kill? Killing for the greater good and killing for no reason are two different things. I happen to do the former. Chance of this one for me. If what you're doing is oh so righteous, then why let yourself be caught? Because I needed to talk to you. I needed to talk to you while we still had the chance. You see something no one else sees. What's that? That the world isn't divided into good people, bad people, worse people. It's merely divided into good and bad. And that, all of the bad, deserves to be punished. You act like I'm the problem. But given what you've done throughout your years of service, you think our roles would be reversed? I'm not the killer here. Oh, contraire. Let me ask you a question, Detective. Did you know that your actions, that your carelessness and unwillingness to do the right thing would lead to the death of an innocent man? Everyone else knew it would. Yeah, you did nothing. That hurt. I told you it wouldn't be fun. Oh, it will be. Check on the captain. What? Why is that? Well, I had a little poison left over. And I figured I'd give it to him. I'm gonna ask one time. Answer or I kill you. That's more like it. What did you do? I killed a sex offender. The captain is not a sex Aren't offender. Aren't you the detective here? Because you're not very good at your job. In fact, a few others in your department have committed some heinous crimes. You're lying. Am I? Who else? You'll find out soon enough. Two nights ago, I torched a man who trapped his daughter in his basement for eight months. Poor girl was real thin and in terrible shape when I found her. I'm surprised she wasn't dead. Bad guys, detective. Bad guys.
but I think it's safe to assume that deep down, you know I'm right. Bad people deserve to die. You killed a man for hitting his dog. You act like you never once had the thought. A thought and deed are different. Maybe, but where is he now? You're crazy. So is the world. Don't agree? Kill me then. Put me down right here and now. And I'll never hurt anybody again. I have you in custody. What reason would I have to kill you? Because you want to. Because I'm bad. Because for some reason, maybe you'll feel redeemed from all the awful things you've done. Because you're bad too. Let's go ahead, detective. Kill me while you have the chance. I have morals. That right there is your problem. Your inability to do what needs to be done because of your precious morals. Without the few you have, you and I, we're the same. We are nothing alike. The only difference, the only difference between me and you is that I'm willing to do what needs to be done to take that last step. You'll never have the chance again. You're gonna spend the rest of your life in an eight-foot box. It's a pity. I really hope we'd come to an agreement. We could have saved you. But I was foolish. I should have known there wasn't a scenario where the both of us would make it out of this room alive. I told you it would be fun.